Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being part of our viewers and listeners today. I really appreciate you. The term economy is stable is something that is now music to our ears. We are used to it. When Rikadi Shagwa went to Rwanda, he told the Kenyans who are living there that the economy is stable and they should come back and buy affordable houses. William Ruto told us that he has made tough decisions and that Kenya is on the right trajectory. Kenya is, uh, the economy of Kenya is growing, it is in the right direction. The only time they pause to think for a minute is when workers tell them, okay, if the economy is doing uh, good, then can you add us more salary? Ndindi Nyoro will give you more economic terms that you cannot even understand to prove that the economy is stable, telling you that the, the shillings are stabled against the dollar and all that. And it has been an argument between the proponents of the, of, of the government and the adherents of uh, the opposition. Now today, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, there is this shocking news that is going around that the economy might not be stable after all. 197 chief executive officers of several companies reveal plans to lay off staff over the cost of doing business. I read that and I fell like shedding tears. And the papers are recording that more than more Kenyans are on the verge of losing their jobs after over 190 company managers revealed plans to reduce their workforce within the next three months. In the chief executive officer's survey that was conducted by the Central Bank of Kenya, CBK, among 1,000 company bosses across several sectors of the economy, the layoff will be informed by the high cost of doing business. Particularly, 197 bosses noted that the layoff would be necessary as they move to tame the cost of doing business, which has also been occasioned by high taxation and poor purchasing power from Kenyans. I don't want to read more than that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a government that keeps on telling us that the economy is stable. I'm not an economist, but one of the parameters to understand whether an economy is doing well is how they attract and retain investors. That is it. Because you cannot talk of an economy that is stable, yet over 100, we are talking about close to 200 managers, 200 CEOs, telling us that they are about to lay off our fellow Kenyans. That means whoever is watching this, you must be affected in one way or the other, either a friend or a relative or both, or you yourself. You know, someone was telling me that, Achando, we have been given notice that our contracts are not going to be renewed. Because the cost of doing business is, is just heavy. There is that housing levy where an employer gives 1.15% or something. If you are employing over 100 um, employees, you have to pay for all of them. And I was wondering, if we have an... You know, let's just take the bare minimum of a uh, um, company that has employed, let's say, or 10 people, just 10 alone. Can you ask yourself how many people are going to be rendered jobless in an environment where an, an, an unemployment rate is even shooting higher? And I was doing some little calculation and I gave it the bare minimum that let's say each and every company or every firm employs just 20 people. Because I know others employ close to 100, others more than that. But let's just have it closed at 20 people. That means we have 38,800 people who are going to be rendered jobless. 
these are people who have their who have, have dependents and there are people who depend on them they pay school fee for some they are the sole breadwinners others are working in towns and they their mothers are back at the rural homes depending on them and they've been told that in the next three months they're going to be rendered jobless now i want you to notice something it is not only 197 that are going to be closed others are going to close but these 197 are saying that the reasons why they are going to to close or they are going to lay off is because of the high cost of production others are also closing for other reasons so it means ladies and gentlemen we are going to have a people who stay at home looking for jobs and where do you look for jobs if you know if it was your farm that has been closed then you do get avenues of looking for you know jobs elsewhere but these are more than 200 you know getting close and as, as this is happening ladies and gentlemen william ruto and the kenya kwanza regime campaigned on a platform of creating was it 10,000 jobs every year and we were told uhuru kenyatta was melting down our economy together with raila whom they had labeled as their as, as his uh, sole advisor and ruto told us we have a plan we will be creating jobs and we bought into that narrative and they were voted in now more are closing more people are being laid off and they are not being laid off because of any other thing one of them is the finance bill 2023 that really increased the the, the, the cost of petroleum anytime you increase the cost of petroleum products you know that the cost of production goes up and then you add it to the housing levy that each and every employer has to pay some amount for their employees then you know what that means so they are closing because of the poor policies from kenya kwanza a good example the other day buzeki the billionaire businessman buzeki rendered most of his employees jobless and he said in fact the day that finance bill 2023 was passed he said this is not going to be tenable and i see a situation where we are going to close and then after some times after trying to fix things he informed us that he had laid most of them laid off most of them and remained with just a few recently and he, he mentioned that it was because of the high cost of production recently you saw the the the, the, the former tv anchor betty kialo announcing that her beauty uh, parlor shop was going to be auctioned because she could not afford to pay rent and the reason why this come out because it's because maybe they are celebrities or they they come out to talk about the predicaments but if you ask many they will tell you the cost of doing business is just too high and this information is not coming from opposition so that you you, you want to accuse them of selling propaganda this is the central bank of kenya that has got the statistics of uh, how the economy is running and yet we have a government that keeps on saying that you know our economy is stable recently in fact it's a few months ago madam slu the president of tanzania mocked us that she she got an influx of investors who are running away from us and going to tanzania because of uh, all that is happening within the country and this brings me to one point i like the fact that raila stopped the demonstrations because that was the excuse and the justification that our investors were running away because there was a uh, political strife in kenya and st uh, stability but now the tension has gone down no one is going to the streets all we hear are corrupt corruption and wasted cases and these are revealed by the independent institutions like the control of budget and the auditor general demonstrations are no longer there so investors are going more and more are closing many people are getting laid off but we are getting more loans and i wonder what kind of economic ideas 
did Ruto have when he was campaigning? And what role is David D playing? Because I thought this is the, the chairman of the Economic Council and is being paid heavily with the taxpayers' money. So what role does he play? Which economy are they talking about? Even if you are not an economist, do you want to tell me that economy can be growing when investors are running away from the country? That economy can be growing when over 200 CEOs are telling us, giving us the red alert that we are going to lay off and it is not because we like it, it is because of the policies of the Kenya Kwanzaa. Ladies and gentlemen, it is as painful as it is, but that is what it is. They say it is what it is. We elected this government for you who did not vote for Ruto, who believes that the elections were rigged, your conscience is clean. But for those people who are hoodwinked that we had a plan, that is the plan. You are now getting out of jobs, yet there was an alternative. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whether we are learning, but it's a very painful moment for us in an environment where employment, unemployment rate is growing high, yet more and more are about to be laid off when the cost of living is just too high, the cost of education, I don't know. This is painful, but it is a lesson. Sometimes we must understand that God will leave you to suffer because of your choices. Choices have good consequences. As painful as it is, that is the reality. And that is my take.